Okay, guys, so <laughs> it starts great already. Uh, my name is Arkadiusz Panpawowski, and I'm here with Luke Gals and Carl Anderson. Uh, two very, very positive big guys. Uh, <laughs> big guys. <laughs> yeah, let's, you know, okay, so big and positive. So three big positive guys. Yeah, that's that's amazing, <laughs> guys. Um, first, I would like to uh, I would like to ask you about uh, the game. Uh, are you players? Because you know, um, some people connect uh, video games with being nerds, but that's not you, right? I absolutely don't connect uh, video game guys with being nerds because my kids love video games. They they play NBA or they play I, I play the NBA 2K all the time. My kids play the WWE 2K all the time, um, so they're definitely not nerds. I mean, but you know, you can, you can be a nerd and you can play you can play games just by being a nerd. I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's nerds in all walks of life. Our kids certainly aren't nerds. We're not nerds. We call people nerds. But I don't think you're a nerd because you play. This is the greatest video game I've ever seen. Look at it. You can see it right here. The graphics are amazing. It's the largest roster in history. There's all kinds of new gameplay. You can fight in the crowd, and who doesn't love that? I know I do. I bring the Switch on the, the Nintendo Switch on the road with me, and I'm excited about. WWE 2K being on that, and I'm going to take it on the road and play everywhere. Fantastic! And uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to the game, uh, you uh, last year was your uh, WWE 2K de debut. Uh, you actually uh, were in the game in 2009, but as fastest. Uh, as well, following two years, I believe. Yes. Yes. Let's not forget those three paydays. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's great. I didn't know that I'd ever be in another one, so to be in here with my good brother is amazing, and. We look so real. Our tattoos, our scars, all the blemishes on his face. You can see all of it. It's amazing. <laughs> no, it's cool to be able to, it's, it's just, you know, it's like last year was my debut in the game. I was in a couple of video games in Japan, but it's nothing like this, man. This is in my, so my kids were really excited to, uh, to be able to download me and play. But now like, they even asked me, like, Daddy, this year do we have to download you? I'm like, nope. <laughs> Daddy's right there for the picking, brother. And uh, when it comes to when it comes to your kids, since they are playing uh, WWE 2K, uh, are they always playing uh, as you guys, or uh, do they? Uh, or for example, uh, when there's a bad day, when you tell them to go to the room, they are beating you with you know Randy Orton or whatever. Certainly. They like my, my, my kids like to play with uh, with us, of course, but they like to uh, they like to be Finn Balor, they like to be AJ Styles, and then my my five year old likes to be Roman Reigns. So uh, there's a it's a, a big variety. My son likes to reward me, like if we have a cool dad moment, he'll be like, come in here, dad, let's watch you win the title. And then I have to sit there while he plays it for 20 minutes and watch me win the title. But at the end, I'm happy because I'm a champion, so it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. So when it comes to, uh, when it comes to uh, being a champion, uh, obviously in WWE, uh, right now you're on, uh, you're on your way to, to, the, to the championship titles. Uh, what's your ultimate goal, uh, both uh, as a tag team, also as uh, single superstars? I'd like to, uh, I think for us, I think it'd be cool to win the WWE tag titles at WrestleMania this year. That'd be a, uh, that'd be a really cool moment. Um, and I think, I think uh, singly, uh, I think at some point it'd be cool to uh, WrestleMania with Roman Reigns, man. He's the guy right now, and is it getting any better than that? I mean, no, because he's going to main event, so give it to me. I, uh, I agree. We lost the titles at WrestleMania last year. It'd be awesome to come into WrestleMania, win the titles back this year, and then uh, when he faces Roman Reigns, he's going to be Sean. I'm going to be Big Daddy Cool Diesel on the floor and be too sweet and cheating. Whatever we have to do to get this payday and win a world title, I'm going to do it. It's going to be awesome. It'll happen. Uh, so that's that's uh, what I uh, hope it w will happen. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm always on your side, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little loose. Well, whatever. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, uh, what, uh, what I actually meant to say is uh, I was rusty. I don't know why I said loose. <laughs> whatever. Uh, whatever. 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 <laughs> Best interview ever. <laughs> what gimmick? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, guys, this is this is quite interesting. Uh, I, I didn't actually uh, plan to ask you this uh, about Roman Reigns, but yeah, he is the, he is actually one of the one of the uh, best overall wrestlers on the game as well, with an overall of 95. Uh, he's either the best or like one of the best. Um, 
and he gets a lot of you know bad rap. Uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think about his work? You already said he's the top guy. Yeah. I would like to hear something more. Yeah. We staunchly, staunchly disagree with people saying anything about Roman Reigns performing his craft. If I could build a sports entertainer, I would build Roman Reigns. He looks amazing. He's athletic. He's big. He's uh, he's in great shape, and he's a great professional re wrestler. I mean, we've been in the ring with him. And uh, I think after the first time we went, wow, like this guy is the whole deal. It's, he is the big dog. It is his yard. And uh, it's fun every time we get to mix it up with him. We, we love it. I think Roman is uh, like John Cena like, you know, he's on, he's on a lot. He's on TV a lot. You know, he's, he's, he's always featured. So I think the fans just take that as it, I don't think it makes them, I don't think it makes them hate him. It just makes them see him a lot. And so he, he elicits some kind of reaction. And after uh, you know being in the ring with him, man, I can I can tell you he's easily one of the best I've ever been in the ring with. And uh, when people say if people say Roman Reigns can't wrestle, they are just saying it because they're lying, they just don't, they have or they don't know. They don't know about Our business, it's plain and simple. He's a he's a phenomenal AJ Styles, but he's a phenomenal professional wrestler. Uh, I, I was always a big fan of old school wrestling, and I know that uh, in your work you can obviously see uh, a lot of uh, a lot of this old school style brawling stuff like that. Who was your idol growing up? Who was uh, the person that you maybe uh, tried to uh, to look up to? You know, for me growing up in uh, in the South, North Carolina, I, I I grew up watching Ric Flair all the time. Ric Flair and the Four Horsemen loved Iron Anderson, Tully Blanchard, Barry Windham. Uh, Ole Anderson. It was uh, the Rock and Roll Express. Um, you know, then as I got older, I'd, I'd, everybody loved the Rock. He was the guy I wanted to be like too. It's, uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I think that we're a blend of a lot of guys that we grew up watching because we have always been big fans of, of the business. So, I mean, Arn Anderson's a great example. He's one that I didn't say yesterday, but I mean, from him to the WWE guys like Jake the Snake Roberts and Hulk Hogan, and there have been so many great guys over the years that. We were such big fans of them and what they did inside the ring that I think we took a lot of that. And then, you know, going to Japan and him being there for so long and being able to blend that style. So we're kind of a mixed bag. There's a lot that kind of goes into what we do. And uh, we'll take a little bit from everybody because there's been a lot of a lot of great sports entertainers. And you can play as all of them in the new 2K18. I don't say this enough, but Jamie, no Jamie Noble was a, uh, a guy that I used to always watch. Jamie Noble's awesome. Jamie Noble's as good as it gets. As good as it gets, underrated and uh, awesome. Yeah, uh, and what is interesting, because you mentioned names, and I can totally see uh, a little little bits and pieces uh, in your work, so it's, so it's very, very good. Um, what I would like to ask you is, uh, when it comes to your legacy, what would you like, uh, you know, in 10 years, in 15, in 20 years, what would you like uh, like to say? Uh, I don't know what I want to say on your graves. That would be terrible. No, I mean, I mean, your, you know, Hall of Fame, <laughs> Hall of Fame induction. I your I'm glad that I kept the microphone for that one. <laughs> okay, uh, so your Hall of Fame induction, you know, what, what do you want uh, to hear? I'd like for just uh, people to know that we did, for, for myself, I'll speak for myself, I, that I worked as hard as I possibly could to get where I, to get where I wanted to be uh, since I was five, six years old, and I got there. And I got here, and I'm living it now. And uh, just know that I, I worked really, really hard to get where I am. I think we'll be remembered as the original Good Brothers. You know, we're great for the locker room. I think we're pretty damn good in the ring. Um, and, you know, we come from humble beginnings. It's the same thing. We worked our way up from small town independence all over the, all over the country in America to, uh, to going all over the world and doing our thing. And we've been blessed to do it. And hopefully we get to do it for another 10 years before they make that induction. Yeah, and we look forward to uh, wearing the Hall of Fame ring, the Hall of Fame payday, and uh, t teaching all the boys <laughs> about the business when we see them 20, 15 years from now. Sit down here with me, boy. Let me to to teach you something. <laughs> it's, it's always about the payday, but, it, you know, it's, it, it's, it's a great mentality. It's a great mentality. Uh, I have two more questions that are basically more about... Uh, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, so um, I, I have two questions... Mm, more about uh, more about wrestling as a whole. First thing, uh, you were a great you were great as a tag team, but you were also accomplished uh, single wrestlers. Uh, what do you think 
is the way to go for the tag teams in the future because uh, uh, there are different ways. There are guys like you and I would also say maybe the revival is similar in the way of more old school, me methodical way, you know, uh, hard hitting. And there are guys like, you know, the Young Bucks, for example, who, who, who are... Uh, well, totally different. You, I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to get into details. Uh, what do you think? Is 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 there even a right way, or is every way that gets the the asses in seats uh, the right way? I think you, you you said it right. I think I, I don't think there's a, a a right way or a wrong way. Besides, uh, I think we we do what we do. Uh, guys like Seth and Dean do what they do. Um, Cesaro and Sheamus do what they do. Uh, the Revival do what they do. Uh, the young bucks do what they do, you know, in different different parts of the world. It's uh, you know, I think it's and we all I think we all have mastered tag team wrestling, tag team, wrestling. tag team, tag team wrestling in, in their own uh, <laughs> tag team wrestling in their own in its own right. Yeah, I think I think you uh, you find the formula that works for you and you go with it. You know, there's a right way, a wrong way, and a good brother way, and that's what we're doing, the good brother way. Amazing. And uh, the, la the last thing I would like to ask you, because you have been, you know, um, before before uh, coming back to WWE and, you know, entering WWE, uh, you have already have uh, had solid careers. Uh, I, I, I followed it. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge fan. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you know, I remember the, 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 the days of freaking, de the freaking Deacon. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, 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 that's an obscure reference, probably, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, all, all, all the stuff, all the stuff in, in Japan. Uh, and I really enjoy it, but um, currently, right now, if somebody was to start a career in professional wrestling or in sports entertainment, however you, however you put it, what would be the, what would be the advice that you would give? Because you, you, you guys are accomplished, you, you guys know your stuff. What would you, what would you advise a person? I know what he's going to say. I would say you should sign. No, 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 no. I, I think you should sign up to join the Good Brothers Dojo in Jenkinsburg, Georgia. Move there and train under my tutelage, and then you'll find the keys to the top. <laughs> I think yes, but I, I think if you, you should find a good a good uh, wrestling school with uh, a, a good trainer that knows what he's doing and stick it out, man, and be ready for a for a nice long haul, and then hopefully someday you can get into NXT and Triple H can mold you into what he wants you to be, and then you debut on Raw as War and you get a big payday. Uh, and just don't ever take no for an answer. That's something that we've always lived by, and uh, don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. Be respectful and listen. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, uh, two of uh, the biggest stars of, I believe, 203 uh, wrestlers available in 2K, uh, WWE 2K18. Uh, two, uh, two out of 203, I believe, or whatever. <laughs> Uh, but those are the guys that you want to play as. Those are the good brothers. Thank you very much, and I wish you all the best. Thanks for having us. Thanks.